Thank you. So hello everyone, I'm Andamal Central and you join me in a windy random housing estate south of Leeds. It's a housing estate um, section in between Hunslet and Belle Isle, Belle Isle part of Middleton, not the Belle Isle where the Arriva bus depot is. And we're walking down this road, I don't know how well you can hear me, I'm hoping you can um, because the wind's not the nicest. And we're having a little walk around to sort of succeed with the title of this video, the title of this video being um, Leeds Buses after the closure of CT plus Yorkshire. So we've got two routes that we're going on today, two routes um, so far that have been reinstated since CT plus collapse. The first of which is the 61. That's why we're here. We're having a little walk up to John Charles Centre where the bus route starts and um, just jumped off um, a 13A from Middleton um, Centre or the south bit of Middleton and we're having it's about a 15 20 minute walk I've got enough time and um, to get to the starting point of the 61 the 61 operated now by Yorkshire buses it was temporarily run by um, connections bus um, sort of on a very very limited timetable in between other school runs and is now run by Yorkshire buses to a more enhanced timetable six days a week so here we are today I'm not going to tell you much else till I get to the bus stop um, but yeah we're going for the 61 first and then we're going to have a little look at the 81 the 81 I'll explain a little bit more of later in the video so I'll see you all um, once I've battled the wind um, that has briefly stopped, thankfully, and get to the terminus stop for the 61 service. Well, it looks like we're in the right place. Um, that's definitely the time it's um, due, and that's definitely not the operator. So I've got here about 10 to 15 minutes before the bus is due to leave. We'll probably be here in just over five minutes or so, and I'll take the opportunity while the wind starts blowing as soon as I click the record button and to tell you a little bit more about Yorkshire buses and the 61 and 61A and before we jump on board is it is quite a short service it's one I haven't done before and it's a bus that I've been needing for a bit but I'll tell you a little bit more when that rocks up the 61 and the 61A run approximately hourly um, minus buses during these school times as the bus that does this now does school runs on a morning and an afternoon and it runs in between that runs hourly it also has a peak sort of time service that's the 61a that goes via cross green approach this 61 is a little bit more direct to ensure that it can have the hour ahead ways it takes 25 minutes there 25 minutes back so the route itself is the first route by yorkshire bus as a public bus service um first one for them to do they've done some school services and they really sort of rose up at the end of august following the collapse of ct plus yorkshire since CT Plus Yorkshire collapsed, quite a lot of um, smaller independents, as you've seen in Rotherham um, and as we'll see in um, Huddersfield in a future video, have all sort of started to emerge a little bit. It took us all by surprise. We we're expecting a lot of the big companies to step in, um, but the big companies are also cutting back at the moment. So it's down to little independents and even new operators to step up. Now, Yorkshire Buses is a brand new operator. Um, they've won a few of these school contracts that CT Plus used to run, a very, very small handful of them, and it is a very, very new company. We know that they've got a Dennis Trident from CTS um, Travel in Huddersfield. They've got this vehicle that I'm going to be jumping on shortly, and they also do have a first Glasgow Eclipse. I haven't seen photos of that out in service. That's a very loud car. I've heard a few things that it might have disappeared off fleet, it might not still be there. Um, that I'm kind of going to assume that it's on the reserve or may have disappeared off until I see a photo of it in service. But they definitely have a few buses, there's a few expected on the way as well as the company keep expanding. So they have a pretty new operator. Um, when we jump on it now, the, in, currently in October, the service is free to travel on. The saying it as a bit of an apology for CT Plus collapsing and for people to get um, used to the new service. Um, but it is free to travel on in October, is the 61 and 61A. Um, I've already got my day ticket, as you saw, I've already been on another bus. Um, but we'll still, we'll still have a look at the fact that it's a free service um, and take a trip on it up to St James's. It's also started to rain, lovely. So the bus should be here very shortly. 
and I will see you all when it does arrive and probably after I've been battered by the wind and rain. Here we go, coming round the roundabout is X Marshall's Sutton YGO2 FWL that will take us up to St James's. So the bus itself, um, very nice and tidy inside, you wouldn't expect it was new in 2002 um, with obviously sort of how clean and tidy it is, the seats are very comfortable, there's timetable information um, at the front, unlike the ones that were done in Rotherham, they've got paper timetable, like A4 sheets folded but it is still times on a piece of paper at the front for passengers to collect, a welcome aboard notice on the front and sort of welcome aboard and information behind the driver so it's all very tidy to say that it was all pulled together at quite short notice um, because the um, West Yorkshire Combined Authority had been quite last minute with the old CT Plus contracts um, it's incredibly well um, the bus obviously is in a different company livery um, but with it being the regular bus on this route now people are starting to get used to seeing it has all the legal lettering on um, and as I say the welcome aboard and um, when you jump on and um, gives you a little bit more confidence it's also important to note as well for this service, um, the operator have been incredibly active on, the, on their new website, their social medias, Facebook, Instagram and stuff like that, to promote the service, promote what the buses look like and all other bits and bobs, looking incredibly professional for a new company, so credit, so hat, pretty much hats off to them for that. As I say, if it wasn't for them putting that timetable up, I'd have come here at a totally different time, because the timetable um, I believe on bus times is currently out of date. I don't know if Metro have the updated one, and I know Google's slightly out of date still at the moment as well, as it is in South Yorkshire. So if it wasn't for the bus company putting up their timetable and making it incredibly clear, I wouldn't have known what time the bus was going to be. So yeah, credit to them for that. So I'll show you a few more clips and things as we make our way to St James's Hospital. It's my first time on this route, it's quite a nice route, and it's also got quite a few people on that again is credit to the fact that the timetable's out there, it's a regular bus, it runs on time, they don't miss trips and everybody in the driver's friendly and there's all the timetable information. So I'll show you a few more clips as we make our way to the hospital.
Peterborough now. Uh, I'm on this for two model stops and then we're getting off at City Square to get the 81. The 81 runs from Infirmary Street, loops around City Square and then heads up to Pudsey at the moment. It's on a slightly reduced timetable, currently run by Square Peg, so we'll see what shows up um, on the Square Peg one. I have no idea what's going to rock up. I'm in a rough, vague idea that it might be an Enviro 200. We'll see what shows up. Um, at the moment it sort of runs hourly in the morning, then it sort of goes for every 90 minutes while the drivers have their sort of legal 30 minute breaks and then it goes to a little bit hourly again but also misses out school times as I believe they're using the buses that do it during the day on school runs um, just like the 61 on, mor on mornings and afternoons. This one, apologies about not including the boarding sequence, and um, I walked up to Infirmary Street, had about five minutes till it was um, scheduled to leave um, on the timetables that I've seen um, on the Metro website and things. I used those timetables, um, got a few photos, and before I had a chance to cross over the road, it left. So I legged it down um, to the bottom of the road to Wellington Street and jumped on it. So apologies about the lack of a um, board in the sequence, I should have posted the photo in of the bus before I sort of just had a clip of me on it. Um, but yeah, um, this is the one we're on. I believe it's an 08 plate, um, you'll have seen the photo. It's quite an unusual Enviro 200 as you can hear, it sounds a bit different, a bit sort of beefier is probably the best descriptor. Um, I can't unfortunately tell you the origins of this one, I know it's a bit different to the rest, I think it might be an airport one, as it has um, an air conditioning unit on it as well. But either way, it's still making for quite a nice ride. So this is one of two buses on the 81 today. Um, the route itself takes about 50 to 55 minutes end to end, um, going through all the villages in between, um, all the villages and housing estates in between Leeds and Pudsey. Um, one of the more prominent bits um, for photos and things is Troydale. As it goes all the way down to Troydale, turns around and comes back up. Unfortunately, in this video, we're not going to go all the way down there. And this time I might do that in a future one, as I don't have as much time to do that, unfortunately. Um, but we're going to do a trip on this about two thirds of the way on the route, and then we'll jump off and get another bus. So, this, as I said, there's two buses on this today. It's an hour headway in the morning. Over lunchtime, it goes to every 90 minutes, so the drivers can have a bit of a break. Then, I believe in the afternoon, it's slightly hourly again, but obviously the buses then get pulled off to do schools and things like that as they do in the morning. So it does mean that the timetable is a bit reduced compared to what it used to be with CT Plus as you used to have dedicated service buses did CT Plus on their fleet. But at least it's still a service and that's what you want.
Thank you. Have a good day. So here we are in Swinner. And that was our bus on the 81 SN08 ABK. So yeah, there it goes. And just like the bus stop um, that we went to in the South of Leeds, it's Elstall CT Plus on there. Um, Metro West Yorkshire Combined Authority. If you're watching, I highly doubt you are, but if you are, kind of needs updating. Um, although in fairness, it's better to have some timetable on than nothing, um, unlike when we went to Rotherham in our previous um, after sort of CT Plus. Um, CT plus demise video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass back into the studio I'm going to give you a sum up of what we've been on I'm going to mention anything else I may have forgotten like any other routes and things I may not be able to cover in this video um, the companies that we've been on and other bits and bobs and little bits of information that I may have missed so I'll pass you all into the studio for all of that and to sum up this video the third in our series of pretty much what's going to be four videos looking at the old CT Plus Yorkshire and Powell's public bus services and seeing how they're being covered in the main part of their old operation. For this video it was Leeds and we covered the two main services that have been covered by new companies. The first of which was the 61 between Hunslet and St James's Hospital that's been covered by the brand new startup Yorkshire Buses. A brand new company um, setting off to an incredibly good start with a lovely um, clean and tidy bus, very friendly driver and lots of timetable information on board. There was all of the sort of paper timetables you could take uh, on board as well behind the driver. There was the welcome aboard post as you, saw in, in, as you saw in the video with information as to what was going on and what the new company was. The route now runs hourly. It is a 25 minutes um, journey each direction, sort of five minute turnaround. And when I went on it, it was on time without any issues. It does miss um, workings at school times because the bus that they use now and the bus and the driver will go out onto a school run um, in between that also helps to fund running the service. The company, as I say, is a brand new startup and during October it is free to use the 61 service. There's a bit of an apology for what happened with CT Plus and to also introduce people to the new bus company. So I do recommend a trip over on that um, if you haven't already. The regular bus is the 2002 plated Optair Solo. However, I have seen photos and at some point do wish to go on their yellow and blue Dennis Trident um, that they purchased for school runs as that has also done the odd couple of trips on the service um, so far. The second service that has been taken over in Leeds is the 81. We covered that in the second part. That's run by Squarepeg and is run at an hourly frequency using two buses and during the school times it misses out workings and lunch time there is a 90 minute gap within the service frequency as the buses take their legal 30 minute break. The service itself takes about 50-55 minutes in each direction and when we went on it, just like the 61, it was starting to build up passengers and was starting to get a bit busy. And um, when I did go on it, um, I was a bit surprised that the bus left Leeds um, in Firmary Street a couple of minutes earlier. So if you do want to travel on that route, do make sure you're there within good time, um, just in case. Now, the final point on this and the final of the CT Plus public bus services in Leeds that sort of round it off is the 30, which currently remains uncovered. The 30 was the old Horsforth Town Bus. And it ran all the way through to Pudsey throughout the off-peak daytime. Did about three or four trips from Horsforth to Pudsey. This service has yet to be covered by a new company. Um, Metro have offered it for retends and nobody's taken it up. So to speak with this as well, if you also want to sort of um, mention the specifics, the 81A as well um, that used to run between Leeds, a bit more of a direct route to Pudsey and then used to go up to Galloway Lane in Pudsey. That has also not been covered by a new operator. That used to be the evenings and Sundays version of the 81. It used to be relatively quiet. I and mean, then, as I say, it hasn't been covered by a new company. So it's the 81A and the 30 services, which currently, at the time that I'm filming this, remain uncovered. And um, to the best of my knowledge, that's the main public bus services that CT Plus covered or covered at the time of their closure. Remember also they had the X26, X27 and the 11 on behalf of first, but these are their own services that they covered up until their closure. 
So for now, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Do be sure to check out the other videos in this series from Sheffield and Rotherham if you haven't already. The next video coming up will be one focused on another part of West Yorkshire, the West Yorkshire operation. So do stay tuned for that. That'll be out incredibly soon. Another exciting video, another one I really enjoyed filming with some surprising operators that have taken over some of the old CT Plus routes. If you have enjoyed this video, do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the And More Central YouTube channel for more content like this from the real life bus industry. Do keep sending in your video suggestions as well and other bits and bobs. Um, I do always uh, always love to sort of hear the ideas for videos. I, I do take inspiration off quite a few of them. Um, and do make sure you check out these new companies. Um, Square Peg have been running around for a bit, but are running the 8 to 1. And the 6 to 1 by Yorkshire Bosses. And um, that was a very nice route to go on. Once again, though, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one I make. Goodbye for now. Bye.